All right, guys and girls, this is joining me, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be uh, three people that got stabbed today in Bishopsgate. Some people say Liverpool, London, and Manchester are the worst for crime. Some people say no. Some people say yeah. The people at these families are probably going to be disgusted with what they've been doing. Some people's families would disown their family members for trying to kill somebody innocently. It's a sin, and uh, some people should be able. To, all of us should feel safe walking down the road. Certain areas that go down when it's night time or daytime. It's just a saddening world we're living in. We've got the war with Ukraine and Russia, and then we have these problems of our own in our own country, some people would say. But uh, what, what would you... Um, that's not the phone. I nearly dropped the phone then. What would you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen say about this? Do you reckon it's a sickening act? It's bound to happen again. We had terrorist attacks in London and uh, Manchester before, with Arade Grande, when someone set it off a bomb inside the uh, music uh, arena um, years ago. So, yeah, um, it's a saddening world, it really is. But we're going to have a look at this video and see what you think, guys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, you can make your own minds up and agree with it all. Sickening, I know. But it just keeps happening, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat over and over again. It's like recycling. People are sick of it and it still happens or it goes underneath our noses, but the crimes happen and the murders and stuff. But there's still plenty of other murders across the world, unfortunately. You can't stop everybody. Anyway, let's play the video. After this silly advert, obviously. So Flora kills germs beautifully. Um, so I uh I got into Liverpool Street just down the road at about quarter to nine, uh five minute walk from there to my office. Um I was walking along and a load of ambulances came by me um, and I thought that was unusual. Uh, maybe one or two in the morning, but there was about four, I think. Um, and then followed by a, a herd of police cars. Um, they drove past me, I thought nothing of it. They're probably just driving through. Um, it wasn't until I got closer to my building and I realized, um, I saw the blue lights. Um, I saw all of the blue lights and I realized that that was where they were going. Um, and there was a crowd around the, around the area. I couldn't see much because of the, you know, it's busy of that time of the morning. Um, and I obviously went into my office, so I wasn't walking past that bit, but I went into my office. Um, and it just seemed like a sombre atmosphere. There was, there was a crowd, a lot of, lot of um, chatting, but also confusion. Um, and then I got sent an article by my brother um, about what had happened. Um, and then I realised that is what I saw. I saw um, uh, all those police cars and those ambulances were attending to that incident. Um, and apparently it happened at 9.46, I think. And I got to my office just before 10. So I'm, uh, I'm very fortunate to have been um, ahead or behind schedule, whichever one it is. Um, uh, and I didn't get an actual uh, uh, bird's eye look of, of what happened. But um, yeah, it was about, about 10 minutes after, I think, um, I, uh, I arrived into the office. Well, there we are, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think about that? Is it a sickening act or was it done on purpose? Did he know people? But, it, you know, it makes you think and wonder. It's really annoying, isn't it? But not everybody's got a heart inside like I have. But uh, so we've got cold hearts. Um, hopefully the person's all right or I don't know what's going on. But anyway, thank you for joining this video. I'll see you next one. Take it easy. Peace. See you later. <coughs>